I'm going back. I'm going to check the cameras. Uh, just two of them. I parked the truck where I normally park and went to walk down the trail. I'm not far from the truck. There's the truck right there. My trail goes right down through there. Right back over here when I got, um, well, you're not, you can't see it, but it's somewhere right through up in that area from that side of the trail. It sounded like somebody uh, walking away from me, like toward the creek. It was eight or nine steps, and I had not started the camera yet. I was going to wait until I got under the pines. It was so daggum hot. I'm in the shade right here. You can see the, I'm under the shade, but if you look behind the truck, there's no shade until you get back over there where the, uh, closer to the camera. And I just don't want to overheat my camera by keeping it in direct sunlight like it is right now. <laughs> but, <clears throat> I don't know if it was somebody walking away or if it was uh, maybe a rabbit hopping off. We got a lot of rabbits here. Let me turn the camera around where you guys can see where we're going. Give me just a second to turn my back screen on. There we go. Haven't been haven't been down here this direction in quite a while. I do have my snake boots on though. Snakes are bad. Chris had um he had almost stepped on a five foot diamond back and it was almost solid black. It looked like a moccasin. You could faintly see the the color patterns. And trees died. That was two days ago. And where it's at, he, his children are over there a lot. And so he had to exterminate that snake. side is back that direction it's um if i were to guess i would say 400 yards from right here uh, maybe 500 it's a pretty good walk Jeff's corner is right down there. I don't like going this direction, and I don't want to go the other way. I'm sure it was a, an animal, a small animal that made the walking sounds. But I just don't want to, I'm not going to take a chance. Another tree fell. It's still alive. It's a big one. The trail's right here somewhere. I haven't been down it since um, last hunting season. I'm trying to I think it's right here. Tree that come down on me. I 
Don't feel comfortable about going this way. Because of the just being close to Jeff's corner. Where's my trailhead? Okay, it's not there. That's the game trail. It's got to be right here. There's a lot of trees that are down right here. I believe this is it. Can't remember where it's at. Oh, that was right. I think this is it right there. Now here's the footsteps. breaking back there. or squirrel. my trail. The trail's right there. Get out of the sunshine. Just had a lamb. A lamb to 
just hit right up, right up in there. About 20 feet from me. I'm not seeing anything. Still hear him moving back there. I just can't tell what it is. This tree fell and it blocked my trail. So it's going to go back over here. so dry out here. That trail's blocked. This right here, you guys that don't know, don't know that I've showed this to you. This fence right here, this is our um, east boundary for the new property. There's a tarp and a cooler right there. That's a little uh, one acre, little old bitty strip that runs all the way up to our gate. A couple from Georgia owns that. And then a friend of ours owns this one. He's got 15 acres. That goes straight up that direction. And then it goes about 100 yards down here. The 10 acre block that we've had all these years hits on that side of this fence, but it's up there. Probably 60 feet, 70 feet right up here is our corner pole, and it goes that direction. Jeez, I can't even get through. These trees were dead. Um, most of them at the tops broke out like this one right here. 
and then they fell. They blocked my path. So we'll see if we can get through here anyway. I'll try. The trail's right over there. trail right here. I don't know how they're getting through. All this stuff down there. Well, I don't want to go this way, you guys, but I might go on the other way. through here and five or six months ago I came back here well it's been longer than that it's back glass hunting season when it was still cold out I put a camera up back here and that's one of them that I haven't been able to find and I thought I found the tree that I had it on either somebody's taking it I'm just, it's not the right tree. Get some of this stuff cut. That way, when I, if I come back through here, I'll see the clippings and know that I'm, at least this way, it take me out. seeing a camera anywhere okay this is my trail right here I think the old trail sort of looks like it but I don't know Up 
moving back there. That did sound like a small animal. Squeeze that one. Chances are of me putting that camera on a, um, on a dead pine and the tree fell. I thought I had it back in here where we just come through. Lots of deer tracks right here. tractor and try to get dead stuff moved. because I don't have my water bottle with me. Yeah, this would be the, I think this would be the trail. I would love to find that camera today. Just seen a figure through there. I hope I didn't. I just happened to glance that way when I turned my head, and I'm not seeing what I thought I seen. My nerves are gonna be shot. I don't want to go that way. I did, um, I do believe that I've seen a figure look like a bear. I'm, just, I'm getting bears on camera again. I just don't know. That's not something I don't want to deal with. deer trail that I'm on right now. It's, um, it's starting to feel weird. I'm getting close to that Jeff's corner area. Oh, I should have checked my map. Crud. I bet that's... I bet I've gotten turned. I'm going downhill to so that I'm going toward the creek, which means I'm probably going toward Jeff's corner. I'm going to sniff this little bush here so that I have a marker, because I'm probably going to have to turn around. I don't want to go through that area. But while I'm back here, I just want to look see if the cameras I don't think it's down here I don't think it's this far down I'm pretty sure I had it up the hill in a flat area we've got big bucks that come through the property here where I'm at but because it's right there on the edge of Jeff's corner we don't hunt it 
been wanting to walk around and look for deer sheds over here, but I just haven't done it. It's not often that I actually have somebody to go with me. trim some of this from here. That way if I go to back out, if I gotta turn around, I can see where which way I came from. I gotta stop, take the time to pull my map up. Just make it obvious. I don't hear any waterfalls. So I'm not sure if I'm near the creek or not. You can't tell by the treetops. Let's see, I'm just gonna walk this way just a little bit. Deer have been traveling through right here. I don't see a camera in there anywhere. It opens up right there. Let's see if we can get around this stuff. thought this was the trail but it's not looking like it this is just creepy this whole area feels really really out of whack like yeah I don't like it right here at all that's, a, that's an old deer rug right there mark some of this here just so I know that I've been this way this is open on that side I'm not very sure where I'm at, to be honest. See, that's a nice little open area there. I wonder if I got the camera up that way. Okay, I can see the fence. The fence was right there, right between. Oh, it's hard to see it on camera there, but it's right there. You should be able to see the fence. A little section of it so I am much further to the east than what I want to be I thought I was further uh, toward the west
out it feels nice right here temperature wise it's just the environment doesn't feel very good it doesn't feel welcoming at all some of these off right here just so I can get back to it pretty easily come on It really feels bad right here. I'm starting to shake. This way, just follow the deer trail, I guess. train went through right there. I don't know if you guys can tell how everything's kind of plowed out of the way. Yeah, I'm not feeling well here. Whew. Main thing is, I'm not sure where I'm at. I know I'm near the east property line, but none of this looks familiar at all. I don't want to go through the palmettos. May have to. Maybe. That's water. I'm right at the creek, you guys. I'm in Jeff's corner right now. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the camera because it may start acting up. Just wanna get away from this spot. Sure, how to get out of here? I don't think I've been in this particular area, but I know I'm right here at the creek. In Jeff's corners on both sides of the creek at the, at the um, northeast side of the property. I know I'm at the I'm at the creek because it's right there I can hear it. Jeez, figured that would happen. I kind of thought I'd end up over here, but I was hoping I would make the, some correct turns up there. I'm gonna try to go go up here and cut across. I don't want to be over here. I don't know if I can though. Get around the right hand, maybe. Creek 
creek is right there. Sounds like I'm between 35 and 50 feet from it. There you go, bear with me. I'm gonna try to get away from this spot. Definitely not an area I'm gonna be in. So looks like a trail right here. Maybe. That's a trail, sorta. Can I go that way? No. There's a little four wheeler trail right here, then I'm definitely at Jeff's corner. That's where we initially cut the four wheeler trail, Kim and I. We got out here and seen the shadows moving tree to tree. There's the four wheeler trail. We got to right here and we stopped and turned around and got out of here. Because we were seeing shadows. You can see them out here just moving tree to tree. But the, it, uh, it appeared to be shadows. Not a figure casting a shadow, but just the shadow. Minus the figure. Oh, Lord. I'm armed, you guys. I'm not unarmed. But I'm just uh, a little spooked. Great. Been out in the direct sun and the uh, camera got too hot. Let me see. Um, my battery is 66%. Plenty of battery, but it says the device overheated, so it's turning my screen off. Guys, I'm going to stop right here for just a second. I'm going to take this cage off of this camera. This is the new camera. It's still filming. But it just says it's, turned, it's disabling the screen because it overheated. Give me just a second. I'm going to uh, take this off so the camera will cool down. Alright, um, I am filming with the, the new DJI Action 4. It's an amazing camera, but if you're like me and you edit all of your videos on your phone, then you're not going to like the Action 4. Because it, uh, for some reason, a seven minute clip is saved as being over four gigs and so it will not allow you to transfer it by the app to your phone you have to upload it over to a computer and then go from there upload it to your phone from the computer and it's an aggravation so I may end up trying to trade it for another action three because that one <clears throat> It'll record clips up to about 11 or 12 minutes in length, but they are under 4 gigs. And I'm filming the exact same settings on both cameras. I'm filming 1080p, 30 frames per second. 11 minutes, 1080p at 30 frames per second on the Action 3 is 2.5 to 3 gigs of data. The same amount of footage, 11 minutes on the Action 4, is like 6 or 7 gigs. And I don't understand why it's that way. It's got an amazing lens and amazing microphone in it, but 
people like me that don't edit on a computer or those that don't have a computer, the camera is pretty much useless. As I am dizzy. And it's probably just because I'm stressed out. I'm scared of being in here. I am in Jeff's corner right now. It's just, I'm freaked out. I'm shaking. The creek is right there. It drops off right there to the water. Such a beautiful area right here. But due to all the strangeness that happens here, it's just not worth hanging out in it and enjoying it. Let's see if I'm going to I'm gonna go right here. I'll show you guys the, the creek. We're already here. So. God, I am shaking bad. I'm sorry if it's showing up in camera. Just, I just get really nervous in here. I get nervous if somebody's with me too. It's not just because I'm by myself. There's a broken limb right there. It's still alive. And it makes me feel good. We might be able to see the creek. Right there. Let's see if I can see it better from over here. There's the creek right there. You see how thick it is through here? The creek's right there. It curves around right here and then it goes that direction. Seen enough. I didn't even see that one. There's another broken limb right here. And that one's still alive. Look at there. That's a big one. I don't believe that's a deer. Give me an honest opinion. Maybe a bear. Oh, I could smell a snake. It's strong. I don't know where he's at. I'm close to him. That's a rattlesnake. Moxon has a completely different smell to him. I don't know where he's at. I'm scared him or he wouldn't be smelling like that. I got my boots on now. Let me get back up right here on the trail. On the safe side. Won't do another. So I can just hit right there. My camera got hot again, so it disabled my screen. I don't know if I can go straight up. That other camera's back here. 
And I got one down here past Jeff's corner. I'm feeling sick. There's something in the ground over here. It's got to be. Whoa. I don't know what other. I don't know what other reason would cause you to feel all out of whack and to cause your electronics to act up naturally unless it's some type of minerals or something in the ground ground deposits of some sort as I'm just trying to find the I just want to avoid going over here and this is a beat down trail right here I don't know if this is a deer trail or not. It's going right here to the log. This is jumping over. Looks like it's jumping over, doesn't it? Trail right here somewhere. I can't. Whoa! Can't think straight. Don't remember. I just got my hand all messed up. I don't think it's this way. Got that other camera that's right over here. Somewhere right over here. I can get to the creek right there. Looks fairly open. I don't want to go to the creek right there. I'm going to find that trail, that four-wheeler trail, so I can get over to that. I've got two cameras right here that I'm going to check. Uh-oh. That's 
the yellow jacket nest right there. That's a big one. Get out of here. Holy cow, that scared me. I don't know if y'all seen that. Huge yellow jackets nest right there. All right. They normally have two entrances. You can see the um, the paper all the way up to the mouth of it. Whew, that scared me because I thought I heard I heard bees whizzing by my head, and then I happened to look and I see the that big old nest right there. The yellow jackets get below the ground when you walk by them. They pick up your the vibration from your feet and they come and pay you a visit and they are not friendly. Alright here's the truck. Jeez. I'm on edge. And I just got scared by a yellow jacket's nest and I did not see any bees. I gotta remember where that thing's at. Cause we're gonna be clearing a lot of this down here. See the camera is right here, right there on that tree, a little pine. I need a cab tractor I can drive over to that yellow jacket's nest. Dig it up out of the ground. Destroy it. Alright you guys, I'm going to check this camera right quick. I got one video and it was when I set it up. Okay.
trying to remove some of this stuff that trigger the camera. Check the other one. It's going to be loud. I apologize in advance. Okay. Let's check this other one and get out of here. Got all shooken up. Made myself nervous. Do that every time, unfortunately. I think that big hornet nest is right over here. All right, let's go check this camera. This is the camera that I'm doing a review on. If any of you have spotted something or heard something in this video that I missed, please make note of the timestamp of it and if you wouldn't mind emailing it to me. The email is standinggoatsrescue at yahoo.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. A screenshot would help tremendously. This is the feeding area where we're feeding Mama, the young buck, and then a... yeah, something's been in here. There's the camera right in there. All right, I'm gonna check this one right quick. Man, it looked like my memory card was gone. Broke my phone um, holster. So now I gotta try to figure out how to get another one. Always something. Okay. Let's see what we got. I haven't got a lot on it. Good deal deer good deal and I may show you guys some of these um, pictures and video clips it should be a doe and a, um, a little spike buck that's been coming in here but it's hard to tell it's just little tiny uh, thumbnails so I won't be able to tell until I get them uploaded come on it's almost there here we go. Got it. Yep, very first deer on it. Got the spike. Pretty little deer. He's staring at the camera. I guess this one makes noise. He keeps looking over at it, watching it. Okay, good deal. Got it. All right. We'll reload this thing. Ooh. 
this one here is like the Woe Sports camera. It's got a, um, you can save a, you can program a password into it. So if somebody steals your camera, there's nothing they can do. They can't, um, they can't use it unless they know the password. Two, eight. There we go. That's simple. It's a nice little camera. I like it. All right, guys. Camera's back on. Let me shut this uh, tripod down a little bit. I'm using my miniature one. All right, let's get out of here. Still shook up. Just that Jeff's corner has a really bizarre feeling when you walk in it. You can just you can feel that something is really off with that area, and it's just right there. It's at the bottom of the hill right there is where it's at. Off. I keep passing my marker for this. There we go. Just make it a little more obvious where it's at. Just trimming some of these. They keep growing for some reason. There we go. Might as well get these too. Make it a little easier to, um, to tell what my turn is. Alright. Let me get out of here. All these different um, feelings that you get down there in that part of the property. Just when you're by yourself, it's just not worth going down there. Just not a, not a fun place to, to be. And what's crazy is the, the deer are coming through on the east side of Jeff's Corner. A lot of deer, a lot of big deer. But we ain't got nothing going through the center of it. I baited it up one time, put a camera on it for two or three weeks, and the deer would come in from the west side. They'll eat the bait, and then they leave back to the west. We never had any deer coming in from the east side. Well, I'm right at the truck. Guys, thank you for taking this walk with me. I'm sorry it's boring and I don't have anything captured but that's why I film every time I come out normally <clears throat> I just don't want to end up getting caught off guard but most of the stuff that I have captured sometimes I knew something was there I just didn't see it but normally, the only way I found out what was there is because you guys had spotted it in the video and you sent me a timestamp or a screenshot in the timestamp and 
That's the only way I knew about it. All right, folks, it's hot. I'm going to get in the car and go home. I got to go get cold off. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. I love you. I absolutely see you here in the very near future. So until then, be kind, be safe, be blessed in all you do. And if you need me for anything, my email is standinggoatsrescue at yahoo.com. Thank you all and God bless you. Bye-bye.